Seed is a mature fertilized ovule consisting of seed coat, embryo, and endosperm. Seed storage organs contain substantial quantities of two or more of the major reserves, the carbohydrates, oils, and proteins. The major mobilization of stored reserves in the storage organs commences after the completion of germination and supports the growth of a seedling until it becomes photosynthetically active. Inside the seed, there is cutellum, which absorbs the nutrition from the endosperm. The first leaf, the roots, the alluron layer that synthesizes enzymes, and the endosperm, which is the food storage of the seed. How does the mobilization of major reserves take place in a cereal seedling after germination? The plant hormone gibberellic acid is released from the scutellum and diffuses to the living cells of the alluron layer, where it promotes the synthesis of several hydrolytic enzymes. These are secreted into the non-living cells of the starchy endosperm, where the starch and protein reserves are stored. Alpha amylase and maltase are key enzymes in the degradation of starch to glucose, and the proteinases hydrolyze proteins to short peptides and amino acids. The hydrolytic products are absorbed by the scutellum, which is part of the growing embryo. There, the glucose is converted to sucrose, and the products of protein mobilization is converted to amino acids, glutamine, and asparagine. These are transported throughout the seedling via the vascular system as a supply of nutrients to support growth. Mm-hmm.